Hi, this is Braith, Eagle Spirit Warnock, and I will be your instructor for Learning Pivotal Cloud Foundry for web developers. This is volume one, and this is for beginners. So I'm an enterprise cloud architect at Ernst & Young in the financial space. I'm part of the financial services organization within EY, part of the digital team. And by practice, I'm a software architect, solutions architect, all sorts of architect. I do pretty much everything, data architecture, platform architecture, you name it. But particularly, I specialize in cloud platforms like Pivotal Cloud Foundry, Kubernetes, OpenShift, and the like. I hold a Bachelor's of Science in Computer Science from California State University, Dominguez Hills. And I received that not too many years ago. I have worked with many large PCF installations at companies like Comcast, Dish Network, Ford, HSBC, and Charles Schwab. And I've developed over 100 Spring Boot applications for PCF. And the whole point of this course really is to take all the knowledge that I've gained over the past several years and to pass it off to you guys. Stuff that is very helpful that will help you in your careers and will be very fundamental to you as a Java developer and as an architect. In this course, there's three sections. The first section is Cloud Foundry, the rudiments and core concepts. So we're not gonna be doing any coding in section one, but in section two, we'll be developing and deploying a web service to PCF. And in section three, we'll be developing and deploying an event-driven microservice architecture to PCF. There's some preliminary concepts that are nice to have for this course, although it is mostly self-contained. I would suggest reading up on as much as you can on object-oriented programming with Java, computer networking concepts. Particularly, you want to know what the HTTP protocol and what a RESTful web service is. You'll want to look up to see what is object relational mapping and the tools that are out there for this, like Hibernate. You'll want to know a little bit about some databases some relational databases like MySQL and maybe some non-relational databases like MongoDB will come in handy. You'll want to know about message queues, things like RabbitMQ and Kafka. You'll want to know about the Spring Framework, definitely, and what is inversion of control and aspect-oriented programming. Again, this is all sort of preliminary, preliminary concepts. Some of these are pretty heavyweight concepts that deserve courses for themselves. So, but that's okay because we'll cover a lot of stuff as we go along.